keep soaring, landing at the top of a new Fox News poll, while winning support from one in four Republican primary voters. Trump isn't the only one climbing. Rounding at the top tier of the anti-establishment crowd, neurosurgeon Ben Carson, drawing 12% support, and Texas Senator Ted Cruz with 10%. Losing ground, Jeb Bush, coming in fourth with 9% support, a six-point drop from early August. Now, Trump is offering more red meat for conservatives, a hardline immigration plan. Saying on NBC's Meet the Press, he even supports deporting children brought to the U.S. illegally a step further than some of his GOP rivals. You're going to split up families. Chuck. You're going to deport children. Chuck. No, no, we're going to keep the families together. We have to keep the families together. But you're going to keep but them they together have to out. Go. But they have to go. Trump's six-page proposal calls for an end to birthright citizenship, a provision enshrined in the Constitution that grants citizenship to those born in the U.S. It puts stricter limits on legal immigration and pushes penalties on Mexico if they refuse to fund a wall along the border. But for most of the weekend, the spotlight wasn't on policy, but retail politics at the Iowa State Fair. Yeah! <laughs> Jeb Bush, looking to boost his sagging poll numbers, spent four hours there, sampling pork chops and practicing his fast pitch. Meanwhile, his super PAC is pitching in, spending $10 million on ads in the early states. As for Trump, it was a claustrophobic, chaotic spin through the fairgrounds. Let's get a picture with everybody real fast. Complete with a free ride for the kids on his $7 million chopper.